Well, we're delighted uh, to have uh, Gary with us today. Gary, of course, is our Around the World in 82 Showers Ambassador. Gary is about to set off on this uh, great adventure. Uh, but before he sets off, he's uh, here today just to give us a bit of an insight into what it's all about, what are his hopes and expectations, and uh, what we can look forward to. So a very warm welcome, Gary. Uh, thank you for coming along. Is this your first real adventure or are you a bit of a seasoned uh, traveller? I'm a bit of a seasoned traveller to be honest, Roger. I've always had the travel bug in me, even from you know, many years ago. I'd always looked to go skiing every year and then on a summer holiday and then I, I worked abroad all across Europe um, and that really sort of cemented home that I, I just have an itch to, to explore new places. And then last year I started a new project where um, I just travel around the world at complete random intervals doing crazy challenges across the globe. Um, so this has really been my life now for the last couple of years. Okay, so that's interesting. So last year, 2012, you, tra you, you have travelled the world. Now, what was that all about? Do you want to tell us a bit more about uh, that adventure? Yeah, sure. Um, I, for about five years now, I've been batting away an idea called Choose My Own Adventure, which essentially is using people on the internet to decide my every move for a year. So, it, in basic terms, it started at Heathrow Airport, where I went around the various desks and said, where can I fly to in the next two hours? I created a poll on my website, and people voted for their favourite destination. Two hours later, I was flying to Buenos Aires in Argentina. And once I got there, again, I called upon the people to tell me exactly how I live my life, where I stay, how I earn my money, what I do when I'm there. And, and that's really the start of the adventure. It just built and built. Every month I'd move on to a different place and you got crazier and crazier activities for me to do. Um, so zigzag across the globe, going to Easter Island, going to train with Shaolin in, in China, um, live with a hippie commune in Sweden, um, just anything and everything that people throw at me, I had to um, embrace and, and jet off to. Okay, sounds very exciting. But uh, we're here today to talk about Around the World's Native Shadows. So, I might advertise this as a competition for someone to, to win, you happen to win it. But you know, what was it that particularly appealed to you about this uh, competition to travel the world and write about and film 80 showering experiences? Well, it was really interesting how actually how the opportunity came about to me. Um, because I was away, it was a follower of mine that actually flagged it up and said, oh, this could work with what you're doing. And immediately it struck a chord because um, it's traveling around the world, it's seeking out new adventures, it's, it's really rooted in exactly what my own project was, was, a, was about. And, and then for it to work with me, the same as every single decision that I've, I've done in the last year, they had to vote for whether I enter at all and contact you. So they voted yes and, uh, and luckily here I am. Okay, so there's an element of that in, the, in our travel uh, trip, isn't there? So though we have a rough idea of some of the places you're going to go to, how are we going to bring in uh, people's suggestions? So how it, how it differs for around the world and 80 showers, we have a rough idea of where we're going. So we were previously Choose My Own Adventure was com could be anywhere on the globe the next month. We have a, a rough plan, but very much it's got to be decided what activities take place in those countries when I get there. So the followers of the Facebook page have got to throw in suggestions of, of cool things to do or difficult challenges. They've got to get me dirty to earn a shower. So, you know, it, there's a real scope for them to, to dictate the narrative of the story. And how, how are we going to be following you uh, back home? So there's, there's a Facebook page um, that's set up for this and there's a Twitter feed. So um, anybody who, who likes the Facebook page can see all the content. There'll be videos up there, there'll be articles written, there'll be loads of photographs. Um, and it will be not just here's the content, it'll be a lot of user interaction with myself as well. So I get it that it's actually when you visit a different sharing experience, you're going to film it blog about it, write about it and post it on, on the 80 Showers uh, page, is that right? 
Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to be creating all, all those. I'll be, I'll be filming, photographing, so I'll be in the shell. We've got a waterproof um, camera, so that will be with me, um, taking lots of shots of, you know, it was, we're starting in Mumbai, which is going to be a really atmospheric place to start getting that content. We're showering under elephant trunks, so um, it's, it's all going to be about natural showering experiences. Yes, yeah, so that's interesting, isn't it? So we're not taking it too literally. It's not literally going to be showers per se, but it could be, as you suggested, the elephant showering and the elephant trunks. Yeah, it, it's really got to be um, sort of the, the weird and wonderful showering experiences. So it's not sending me to five-star hotels and right. saying, oh, look at this, is a beautiful bathroom. It's very much the opposite of that. It's like, how do people in these communities that we're going to, how do they um, experience the best um, showers uh, and what do they do? They use their, the tools at hand so you know elephants squirt out a great deal of water. That's a, a perfect way of starting the showers. So is there anything you're particularly looking forward to? I know it's all a bit uh, not quite fixed in stone is it the, the, the trip but is there anything that you hope you will get out of it personally? Personally I'm really looking forward to getting out to Central America. Um, on my previous trip I, I covered a lot of South America but Central America seems like a really um, untapped area and lots of natural sort of waterfalls it's really uh, a tropical climate so I think it's going to throw up a lot of really interesting content from that. So how are your followers going to get involved? I've got the feeling that they may be making suggestions is that right in terms of showers that you might be able to visit while you're in a particular country? How's, how's that going to work? So how it works with the followers is very much like if I was telling you I was going to a country and you'd been there previously. If you've got any suggestions or if you've heard of anything, um, people really like to share those around. Now this is just on a bigger scale using Facebook and social media where you can think, oh, I know a really great thing to do in this place, um, do this. And the best thing is then I'll take your suggestion on board and do that. Okay. So you must be taking, this trip is about three months, isn't it? So you must be taking a huge uh, suitcase, but uh, are there essential things that you wouldn't travel without? Well, one of the, the things that you've got to consider when you're hitting so many places is you've always got to prepare for everything. You know, you could be going to the cold, going to the heat. Um, I, I travel around with ski gear and shorts, and that's basically my, my attire, and I try not to get them mixed up and wearing the ski gear on the beach. But the one thing obviously you can't do without is in the modern world for me is having my laptop or my phone um, it means I can stay in touch really easily via Skype and things like that to my family um, so much more than I actually do when I'm in London um, it means I can stay in touch with all the news and you know it, it entertains me on long bus rides great so all the very best and uh I understand that when you come back, you'll be coming back to Myra to tell us all about these uh, experiences. Is that right? I'll, yeah. When, once I return, I'll be coming back to Myra and uh, and sharing all the all the knowledge and experiences and to probably a lot of very jealous faces in the crowd. But yeah, I can't wait to get on. Thank you very much, Roger.